All right, so my first impression on the blue, not so impressed so far. We'll see how it goes. Hey guys, this is Jen of All Trades. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. All right, today I have some special brand new things for you. I am so excited to bring these. I've been talking about it long enough. So as you know, if you don't know, I've been dyeing my hair for a very long time. That's ma mainly mostly what I do on my channel. I generally use Arctic Fox and Lunar Tides. However, I'm on a journey to try some different brands that I've never tried before. I wanna try these out and then we're gonna do a full review on this brand to see how it fades, how long it lasts, how if it's worth it, and all of that good stuff. So for today, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, we are, I am trying the new brand. It's not new, it's new to me. Um, it's called Eorio, or Eori, uh, if someone knows how to pronounce it, please comment below, like in print quotations, how to pronounce it because I, I don't know where to begin how to pronounce this. And I know it's backward, it's I-R-O, Euro, 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 I think that's it, okay. Anyways, I'm doing blue, black, and purple. Okay, it literally just says blue, black, and purple on it, see? So as far as these, I do not, I'm not gonna dilute them, I'm just gonna put them in my hair. The second new thing I'm bringing to you for today is a new hair technique. Um, so this is another thing I'm trying. Um, I want to try some new techniques of putting the hair dye on so we can create some different dimensions and depths in your hair. And we're gonna, it should be something fairly okay that most people could do. I've never done it before, so it will be a learning process so you get to see how I learn and do it too. So this is called the pinwheel method. Also, the girl that I first saw it from, she called it the pie method. I will link her video below in the description or in the description so you can see how she does it and that's where I got my inspiration. So I'm gonna try this today. Uh, except I'm doing it with three colors. I think she did it with two. And basically you create a pinwheel or like a spiral in your hair so that if you imagine when it spiraled and then when it falls, it will be kind of some depth to it. So you'll see the color and then you'll see more colors underneath. Um, let's go over some of the things you're gonna need as always if you're dyeing your hair. I have some bowls. Um, unlike Lunar Tides, um, this does not have like a cute little dipping bowl or container. It's a packet that I have to squeeze out. So for that reason, I need bowls or some kind of something to put it in. And then I have my gloves because I don't want to stain them. And then I have brushes for each color that I'm doing. And then lastly, because I am using multiple colors, see it's, it's bleached. This is my hair towel. So I have a towel that I'm going to use. So in between colors, I'm gonna wipe my hands off, my gloved hands, I'm gonna wipe them off in between uh, to make sure I'm not, you know, if I'm working on purple, I'm not getting blue into the purple or black into the blue or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it'll be like a cool galaxy kind of look. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors in the bowl. I'll show you what they look like. I'm very curious to see um, how they actually look as compared to what's on the package. So if you've never seen that, um, keep watching and we'll do this together. Oh, you also need a crappy t-shirt you don't care about. As you can see, this is my hair dyeing t-shirt. It's wonderfully colored and um, lots of colors on there. <laughs> All right, so here's the first color. It does look really purple. It is a little, little bit more blue than in real life. Um, I went ahead and squeezed the whole packet. These are four ounce packets and I hope that I have enough. It's kind of chunky, which is weird. It's got like a chunky texture. See that? That's kind of weird. So I'm gonna see how this is. Um, if I happen to run out for any reason, I do have some backup colors, of course, that I can use, but hopefully we're okay. The purple is so pretty. The black is very black. It's beautiful. It's a really nice, texture it's a lot smoother than the other colors they don't really don't they don't really have a lot of smell none of them do let's go ahead and get this on my head we're gonna go section by section follow along and we'll see how this turns out let me get my gloves on and get this started 
So what I have done um, is just to kind of show you what the technique is going to look like. Also, here's a screenshot of the design that I did get from her video. Um, so that give you an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Now whether or not it's actually gonna look like that, it's a little more difficult when you're doing it on yourself as opposed to someone else. Um, but what I did in the front is, which may be a little different from her, because I'm not actually looking at the screenshot. Um, I did a little triangle in the front, so that would accommodate my middle part and my side part. So that will be my starting point. I'm gonna start off my pattern, I'm gonna do purple, black, blue, purple, black, blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these pieces, these first ones, and then we'll see how it goes from there. So let's do it. Let me show you what I did. It's not exactly a, a pinwheel thing, but I tried. Considering I had to use a mirror, it's, it's a little bit difficult. So, that's what I did. We continue, you started here, right? We continue our pattern all the way around. And then you get to the back. And I tried to make it so that when this falls down, this will cover it, you know, and it should create a cool effect. Same thing over here. Um, there's the top. And then I did a little triangle of the black underneath, um, just to kind of tie it all in. So we will see how this turns out. I'm gonna let this sit on my head for about an hour. That's generally what it is, the normal amount. All right, yep, so this, uh, this actually says 30 minutes, but like I said, normally I'm gonna do 45 minutes. I'm gonna show you now what I have left over in the bowls. Um, I'm a little disappointed as cool as the packaging is, a downfall to this is with the extras, I can't save it. I, ha I can't put it back in these and not knowing how much I was going to use, I always have extra. So this is out of a whole four ounce tube, I actually had more than enough, so that's good. This is what's left of the blue, even though it looks purple. This is what's left of the purple. I mean, I probably used a little over half, about three quarters or so of each tube. And then this is the black. There's a little bit less of the black because I really like the black. So, so that's what we have. Um, so, like, um, like I said, unfortunately I can't save it. Although I might put it into a different brand. Whatever, I don't care. Um, but yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. Like I said, we'll leave it on. I rinse with cold water whenever you do these colors. Rinse with cold water if you want it to stay. So um, we're gonna do that, and then um, I'll be back with the final results. <laughs> Ta-da! This is the final result. <laughs> Alrighty, what do you guys think? I want a little extra with the makeup. I like to do a little matchy match. Um, it is so, so beautiful. It actually turned out like way better than what I thought it would. Okay, so the, the whole thing with the spiral is so everything will fall and then it all just kind of blends so beautiful there's not like these big like actual stripes in my hair you can see it blends together so beautifully I am hot I am so impressed with myself I continue to impress myself if you guys have not already tried this technique definitely do it let me show you so this is well this is this is wow it is well this is what it looks like with the middle part like these now if I want to do a side part I can also go like that and then it's more like this and then a little bit of the purple. So that's good. Either way, it, it worked out perfect the way I did the little triangle in the front. Let me show you the back. Ta-da! 
Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, the colors. Oh man, it's so pretty. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if, like I said, if you have not already tried this technique to when you're coloring your hair, go ahead and try it out. Um, I, I will be coming out with some more techniques, some more hair brands, some more colors, some more combinations I haven't tried before. There's always going to be something new here. And then also when this fades, I will be doing a full review on the black and the arrow, 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 I believe that's how you say it, um, all together at once. So when this is done, we'll let you know how it fades out and what it looks like at the end. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, what are you doing with your life? Subscribe for more awesome videos, and I will see you on my next one. Okay, bye. See you soon.